Hi, my name is Juliana Taimorazi, and currently I'm living in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, it will be an honor for me to speak to all of you in October. I will be speaking about my uh, exodus from Iran, my be, me being smuggled out of Iran in, in a few short moments. So I was uh, 16 years old when I left Iran. But uh, we, we had been planning and working with different smugglers for two years to find the right one for my brother to leave Iran because he was a physician and he wasn't allowed to leave. And because I was under age of 30, unmarried, I was not allowed to leave Iran. So, so we finally found the right smuggler and we would meet him in the alley, in the back alleys. Um, we would give him bags and bags of money, literally. We had a tennis bag oh and we would give him money uh, every, at every f different phase, we had and to And the pay reason him. you were being smuggled out? I was, uh, my main reason to be smuggled out of Iran was because of religious persecution. I, I didn't suffer what the Iraqi Christians are suffering currently, but I was harassed. I was told that I would burn in hell because of my Christian name. I would, I was, my, my friends wouldn't play with me if my hands were wet, if they were uh, fasting during the Ramadan times. And they would corner me once in a while in the mornings saying, you need to recite this verse of the Quran that will convert you automatically to Islam. So these are the types of harassments that I went through. But my father knew that I, didn't, I wouldn't have a future as a woman. And as a Christian woman, I would be third or fourth class citizen in Iran. So he uh, sought and we interviewed different, different smugglers and one of them it was a scary situation. My parents, see, any of these smugglers could be a double agent. Right. They could be undercover uh, militia, Persian, or uh, not Persian, but Islamic military or militia. So, so we, uh, uh, my parents went to a meeting and uh, the guy said, well, I can help you, but your wife, your daughter has to uh, destroy all of her identity paperwork, all her identification, her birth certificate that says she's a Catholic Christian. And I would marry her, even even though fake, I would marry her, I would take her to Frankfurt where my brother was, and I would release her into his custody. Um, my mother said, what, what guarantees will you give me? And this is a Muslim guy with full beard, uh, with, you know, very, very conservatively, Islamic conservative dress, uh, clothing. She said to him, what guarantees will you give me that you will divorce my daughter? Because you're taking her to the city hall and marrying her there. And he said, no, 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 you'll pay me enough and I'll divorce her. So my family, honestly, she, my mom tells me, she says, we had to, we said, thank you so much. And we literally walked out right away because we didn't know, they just didn't have an easy feeling about it. But finally we found the right guy and uh, I was smuggled I, on a plane to Switzerland and in Switzerland we stayed there at a monastery for a week at a convent.